Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to the top free assets for June, July 2025, where I feature some of the best editor extensions, models, full systems, and magical assets from the Unity Asset Store, which you can get for absolutely free. There's hundreds every single month. I've got a massive playlist which you can check down below and I'll show you the best ones today and you can let me know which ones are your favourite. Be sure to throw a like on this video because it helps me out massively and do be sure to check out my Patreon too to get over 240 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. So first of all we're going to start out with a stylized visual effects fire pack which is six lightweight fire effects built with Unity's particle system whether you need a campfire, a flame breath, fireball, flame pillar or other combinations. We've got the next one which is the first person camera script which is a customizable camera script which comes with a smooth look, FOV zoom, camera shake and easy integration across all the pipelines. We've got the realistic mesh deformation which is a real time deformation style system. This lets you deform things in real time. It was used in their car controller system and it allows you to form and repair with simple code snippets which are already provided and you can see the little demo in the background. We've got the Racing Starter Kit Free, which is a template for any Unity developer of all levels. They get start with a modular architecture, runtime management, comprehensive race system with start and finish checkpoints, lap timing, finishes. It's got a full UI framework, AI behavior, cross-platform input, tracking of different features and included sound effects. We've got the LP Environment Optimized Tree Shaders. Now this is across all pipelines and it's shaders that provide the lighting features and wind simulation without any additional mesh requirements and it makes it slightly more optimized by between three and ten percent below the actual normal lit shaders that you'll find and then there's the asset the objects rewind system which can be used in 2d or 3d scenes and it lets you rewind whether you need this in a puzzle game and you can trigger things like the playback smoothness the duration and the interval of all the tailored effects we've got the ik fault placement which is a free ik script which is something which allows you to have any object that will require legs or feet or other things that go around or over obstacles. Sometimes the feet are not placed correctly and this is a system to allow this to happen to get more of a realistic look depending on what your characters are doing. Next one is a cool one called the Gimme Battle Transitions. So if you've ever seen a Pokemon or a JRPG, something like that, these have different style transitions, whether it's left, right, spiral, things like that, which can, you know, transition into your battle from your main game to your battle scene. We've got the 19 50s a classical car variant 6 and I included this one because it's incredibly high quality with beautiful materials and textures with lots of LODs and something if you wanted a main vehicle. We've got the logger which is the lightweight and flexible debugging tool for Unity so if you want your debugger to look even more pretty you can color code logs you can filter them you can even use Odin Inspector with this one and you can just make things that look a little bit nicer so you know exactly which part of the debug system you want this to come from. We've got the old floor linoleum free and I included this because it reminded me of things like Resident Evil and different scenarios where you had a really old school police station or an old floor in an old building. I think these ones being PBR look really nice and could be used across almost anywhere. We've got the speech bubbles which is a selection of animated speech bubbles that are resizable. You can customize the colors and everything like that. So you can change outlines, fills, text and all the customization that you normally expect. The next one is the free sample animation set which comes with male and female locomotions, covers, dodging, rolling, survival based animations, ladders, stairs, storage, pushing, lifting or pulling. We've got the free retro pixel font which if you wanted something for your game, a nice little pixel font, I think this one is perfect. We've got the level map system which is a complete solution for either desktop or mobile with a save system and customizable UI. So you can completely use this architecture to have star ranking across all the levels, event driven architecture, fully supported across all the platforms. And it's great to be able to lock and unlock and advance levels with something built in like this. We've got the batch renamer and organize, which allows you to take groups of objects and whether that's in project mode, hierarchy, and just be able to rename them in a much much easier way so you don't have to then go and increment them yourself. The last one in this set is the easy hierarchy tools which I've seen a lot of different hierarchy examples and sometimes it's nice to make it look prettier 
So you can group things, move them around and differentiate them with colors, grouping, different transform tabs. So you can make things just look a bit more visually obvious. There is actually loads more assets for this month. I'll put the full list down below and all the ones I've featured in this one and the playlist to all the others that you've missed out across the many years that I've been doing this. Also, be sure to check out all the sales and savings on the Unity Asset Store. And I'll put all the links down below to those too. And do be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 240 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Massive thank you to Verishutha and Party of Ten for their amazing support and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.